Today we're going to look at the alien gear shapeshift inside the waistband holster. Let's get started. What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to look at the shapeshift alien gear inside the waistband holster. We're going to go over how it works, we're going to look at it compared to its previous versions, and also talk about what I look for when I'm looking at a holster. But let's get started. So before we begin the review, I just wanted to go over a few things that can help you when you're selecting your holster. I know I went over it in a previous video, but I think it's important to remember that the first thing I always look for is safety. And for me, that means having a full Tidex trigger guard. I don't want anything to get in the way, and I don't want it to go off when I don't want it to. Another thing I look for is function. Can I access it properly? If you can't access this, then what's the point of carrying? The next thing I look at is consistency. Am I going to be wearing it in the same spot every time? Because when it comes to using it, if you haven't been training that way, you're probably not going to be able to access it properly. And the next is comfort. You want to be able to be comfortable, because if you're not, you're going to come up with every excuse in the world not to wear it. Last is style, because that's really not important. There's these lacy, pretty little holsters, but it doesn't really matter because it's not like a pair of shoes or a purse or anything like that. It's something that you're only going to see, so what does it matter if it's pink or lacy? So Neil received the shape shift a while ago, and I quickly stole this because I really like it. I actually use it every day. I'm not here to sell you on anything. I honestly think it's really comfortable, and all the new changes that they made really help make it comfortable and very stable, and it stays in place way better than the previous version. So let's check them out. So I have a bunch of holsters that I've used before. Um, this is like one of the, I used to the first or the second generation that we had. You can really tell when you look close that it's had a lot of wear and tear. Um, and this one, we of course would always switch it out with these leather loops. The new version actually comes with these plastic loops that I think stay in place much, much better. They're not as big either because I wear a smaller belt. I don't want to wear this heavy duty belt when I'm out and about every day. Um, this is the, I think the 3.0, so it's a, it's a better version than, than this one, but it's still not, it still has these uh, screws that sometimes would move around or when I was wearing it, they would move, you know, I'd end up like this. I have like a curvier body, so sometimes I'd have to readjust it throughout the day. But the new version without the screws, it kind of has cogs, and I'll go over how you use those in a minute, it really stays in place and I don't have to adjust it throughout the day. It stays right where I put it and I find that really convenient. So the new alien skin is way better as well. The new backing, the alien skin, I like that a lot better. And also if you just look at how this conforms, this is the 3.0. So you can see, yeah, it has some give, but you know, it doesn't have as much as this new version that really can wrap around your body and fit, you know, no matter what body type you have, it really fits you well right out of the box. I love just how easy it is to adjust things. So if you wanted to change the can, or you decide that you want to wear it either higher or lower in your pants, you can quickly do that without getting screws out. Um, all you have to do is just turn it, and these come right out. You put it down here. So maybe you want to put it a little higher on your pants that day. So with the older version, you had to get out a, an Allen wrench, and we would often use Loctite. So you kind of got stuck with what you decided to, to keep it at. And this one, you can quickly, easily change it out and decide, you know, and then they stay in place much better. They're, these things aren't going anywhere. Whereas this, if the screw gets loose somehow, then you got to get get out your toolbox and fix it. Another great feature they added was uh, these three little screws right here. You can actually make it a true zero cant if that's what you prefer, or you can um, you know, have it at a, a 15 degree cant if that's what you like. Uh, before, all you had to, to work with were these two clips. So you had to use the clips to make it out of cant. And now you can use the clips to make it out of cant, or you can actually use the screws here. Another feature they improved were, was the ability to add retention or take away retention. Before, you had to use these spacers, so you were limited to the different spacer size. And now you just take this little piece here, and you can turn it so you could be out and about, you could be anywhere, and you can quickly decide what retention level you prefer. Another improvement is the size, and so not only does it have more um, flexibility, but it's also smaller than the previous version, which I find a good, a good quality. One of the greater features about Alien Gear is their ability to uh, quickly switch shells. So every time you get a new gun, you don't have to go out and buy a whole new holster. All you do is send this in and you get a, uh, for just a few dollars, you get a, a new shell and then you can fit your new gun. Or if you want to have more than one, you know, you could have several shells if you like. So when you're putting it on a trick is you always want to bring your belt all the way to where you want it because it's kind of hard to manipulate it once you start pulling it through and you'll see why. 
So let's see, this is the first loop here. And then your belt loop. And then around the front. And we're going to go ahead and buckle it all the way up. And I have my core belt on today. I really like it because it's nice and thin. It's not as thick as other gun belts. And we're ready to insert our gun and go. Now we can insert our gun. Get nice and stays open so you're safe when you're holstering your weapon. Tighten up. And we're ready to go. So it conceals it well. It holds it close to your body. I like to wear it because it's very comfortable. It's going to stay in place. It holds it really well to my body. And I love how you can adjust the the ride height and the, the uh, cant on it really easily. It's a, it's a great feature that I think you'll enjoy. Much better than the 3.0. I think it, it's a big improvement and Alien Gear does a lot of research to figure out what would make it better for its customers and they really improved it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. We always appreciate that. Another thing you can do is please share this video. That's how we grow our channel and we always appreciate people doing that. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram. You can find all of our premium content on Patreon. Um, if you ever have any women's options you want me to check out, put them in the comments. I always love to hear from you. And until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.